What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be going over the best team for my team limited. But you guys, lads, honestly, it's kind of important getting these rings. So I'm actually, it's a big thing getting the rings. I'm going to go over the best teams because again, my team limited is a little bit of a sweat fest, but last week I got my ring on game number 21. At game number 21 to get my first ring. Like, I'm not playing more than seven games. If it takes me more than seven wins on any of these weekends to get these, I'm, I'll gladly drop out. It's not worth that. It's not worth that time for me, especially when I can be grinding for Luca. So, the limited requirements are no bronze, silver, goal cards, no free agent or heat check cards, and 87 overall lineup, and one game of rings player. You gotta keep your team. Like, honestly, you gotta keep your team cheap for that. You gotta keep your team cheap for that. So. First of all, we're looking at the Emeralds. You're going to be using Emeralds pretty much exclusively, so... Getting a bunch of 80 overall players at the end of your bench is a is a must. And one thing you will not learn uh, when you're doing these squads is that... Sometimes higher overall players don't actually change the overall. So these low intangible players are not... These low intangible players are not what you want. For example... If you, a lot of people are going to say, oh, go and get yourself Daquan Cook, and you might use Daquan Cook. But the difference is that Daquan Cook is going to boost the overall higher than Zach Levine will. So, honestly, for me, like, it all depends on what you need. Um, I'm not even sure with Zach Levine current series two. I think he gets his release on normal timing. Yeah. So, let's just take a look. Point guards. I mean, the my career guy. If you can still make your six eight point guard, you're good. But mine's six foot one now, so I'm definitely not going to be using him. I think Trey Burke because he's an early season player and he does come with Trey Burke release. He's not going to be great. Actually, Cole Anthony's probably the best because he comes with bronze range. He comes with bronze range, and if you get him evoed up, I'm pretty sure he actually comes with gold range. So he's not too bad. Again, these guys are subject to be to change. Clay. Clay doesn't have the best release, but I mean, again, Clay is fine. Clay is more than fine to use at that position. Of these guys, there's no great small forwards. Power forwards, I mean, Jeff Green. Um, Jeff Green's definitely the best. Draymond's not terrible. I mean, do I really want to use Myers Leonard? Uh, Jeremy Grant's all right. And then Emerald Centers. I mean, you want to just go low tier. For me, anyway, I'm just going to see if I can get some what I let. Some sort of athleticism. Um, and a big body. I mean, John Contract. I'm going to... I'll just throw in John Contract. He's, I'm going to replace the center anyway. I'm 100% replacing the center. So, point guard. I mean, Barbosa should be okay. I mean, he's small, so he's not going to be the greatest. But Trey Burke's not bad. Screw it, I'll put in Daquan. I mean, they're, the only real good guys for the small forward are Jeffries and Power Forward. I don't know who I really want to run there. None of these guys get great releases, so at least I'll use Jaron Jackson for defense. Emerald Centers. I mean, none of these are good anyway, so I'm going to replace them. So this is an overall 80 lineup. Okay, perfect. So... First player I want is I want two centers basically. Like you want you're gonna want your centers and the lower overall the better. So for me, Bow Bowl's a must. Bow Bowl is a must in a squad like this because he's a 95 overall. I think Cole I need to check Cole Anthony, see if I can get one of him sapphire for really cheap. Because Cole Anthony is his sapphire has gold range and a good release. 1800. You know, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that because there are a few few other options that are like weirdly, that are like deceptively good. And one is this guy right here at Power Forward. So you go, instead of the Emerald, you get a Sapphire and you put in Steve Novak. One of the most, un I get it, base 10 is not the greatest release, but this is one of the more underrated cards. But now all of a sudden your overall is at 84. I want to see what happens if I put in Manu. So like, if I put in J.R. Smith, we get 85. Do we stay at 85 if we put in Manu Paul? If you're on next gen, if you're on current gen, put in, don't put in Manute Bowl. If you're on next gen, put in, she screw up Manute Bowl on any gen. Against Emeralds, no one's stopping him. 
No one is stopping Manute Bowl on any gen. Like, if I can get Manute Bowl and Simmons into this squad, I'm going to win 90% of my games. Um, Santa, so I can get Pink Time and Simmons in. 87. I just want to see what lineup I can make with my best. Like, this will be my best squad right here. Yeah, no one's beating this lineup. Okay, I want to see if I lower. I got an 89. 88. 88. 88. What if I lower Sim? What if I lower Sim to a diamond? What if I lower Sims to a diamond small forward? Put him Winslow. Still 88. Ruby point guards? 88. Sapphire? 87. Okay. If I replace Sims to a Winslow, I can put in a Sapphire. Which I don't want to do. Because there are no Sapphire point guards that are significantly better than Cole Anthony. Oh, the question is, is like, do I I can put in anybody basically? I can put in Ferry and that works. And this lineup will dominate. A bowl bowl, minute ball, that's all you need to dominate. That is all you really need to dominate. Maybe a center. Are there any good sapphire centers? Kristaps. Kristaps at center. Okay. I like that. Alright, this team's looking a lot better. The real question is, like, do I put... I mean, this is my best starting lineup. By far. Like, Simmons doesn't fit with this lineup, but Simmons is a better player. If I want to bring start Jeff Green, bring Simmons off the bench. Oh, I, I do like this team. What's that fire point guards are there? Okay. What's Greg Anthony? I got to be six foot tall. Does he have range and everything? Because I know he's a season seven reward. I mean, he's got... He can curry in his... Oh, man. Greg Anthony. If I can get Greg... If I can fit Greg Anthony into this team. No. I can't fit Greg Anthony in. Unless I take out... If I take out him... I put in an 80 overall. I put Greg Anthony in there as my starting point guard. Perfect. Perfect. Emerald small forwards. Screw it. If he's in the game, he's just going to be in for defense. Jonathan. Ah, come on, 2K. Can I put him in? Nope. I can't put in anyone good. Do I have to put in Kevin Love? Do I have to put in that garbage man? He doesn't work either. Yeah, I think I have to put in the garbage man. I gotta put in Kevin Love. Gotta put in Kevin Love to make Greg Anthony work. Okay, uh, this lineup is not. This lineup's not losing. This lineup is not losing, lads. Actually, wait a second. Be smart. Basically, if you want any sort of a bench, run this lineup right here. This starting five is probably not gonna lose. And I reckon if I go Emerald and just go with the lowest of the low, could I get one more upgrade in? I think, I don't think I can. I think even if I go Emerald, everyone at low, at 80 overall. I don't think that makes any difference. I don't think I can replace. Okay, 86 overall. I mean, I can get one bench player in. And let's see what tier I can go up to for the bench. I can't even go to Ruby. I got to, I can't even go to Sapphire. Oh, wow. No. I can go to certain sapphires. I mean, he's chicken. He's absolutely chicken, so I will gladly put him in. It's an 86 overall. Sapphire point gets it. Obviously, it's just offensive players that you need. You can't get away with any defensive player. I just can't put defensive players in. Um, I mean, does Yuta work? Ruby. No, he's obviously not going to work. Point guards. I mean, does Wesley Wade work? No. Alright, so I'm just going to get my Emerald point guard in of Trey Burke. 
87 and just in case I need a wing, maybe if I can get clay in. Do you know, I already have, I mean, Middleton's better than clay. Can I get one of my power forwards in? No. Can I get clay in the team? Point guard, shooting guard, clay, no. And this is where you'll see that it actually makes no difference for overall. I mean, the best of all these is Daquan. And I can put in probably any old Emerald here. I can put Kevin Love back in the team and I'm still 88 overall. That's where, this is where overall does not matter. So, I think the best thing I can do is keep Clay. Keep it what we had. I think what we had is the best possible team you can use. And it gives us some firepower off the bench with Clay. Like, look, Clay versus Daquan is two difference in overalls. Like, it's enough of a difference that I can bring in Jared Jeffries. And I'm pretty sure that I can bring in... Um, I can bring in Jeff Green to give us some sort of firepower. And then just replacing an 80 overall with an 80 overall garbage man, Kevin Love. Did we, did we not have this exact team? Was this not the exact team that we had for an 80 overall? Screw it. Emeralds. Or 87 overall. You're kidding me, right? Am I just going to have to get rid of these two guys here? That's an 8. <laughs> and I just get the 87 overall. There we go. That's our team. We've got our team right here. We've got our team, 87 overall. Greg Anthony, 54 gold badge, Sapphire point guard. We've got Manu Bowl, go, just God tier. Danny Ferry, Steve Novak, and Bowl Bowl. These guys will play 90% of the minutes. A K, maybe if I need, because Manu Bowl's stamina does go down quite quick, so I'm sprinting to the basket. An occasional rest for Clay Thompson, um, who has bronze clamps and bronze blinders. I've played, how many games have I played with Clay? But yeah, this Clay Thompson, um, that's just what he's going to be there for. He's just going to be there to hit wide open shots if needed. Trey Burke will come on for a few minutes to come in for Greg Anthony. Real reason for Trey Burke is that Trey Burke is a better release, in my opinion, than Cole Anthony. So that's where Trey Burke is coming in instead of Cole Anthony. Um, even though Cole Anthony's a better card and he's bigger... But I don't see myself subbing up Greg Anthony too much. Jeff Green's going to come in for Steve Novak. And we're kind of screwed if Manu Ball... When, Manu, or is it not Manu Ball? I just want to check one thing. Can I swap out... Buddy Heald? Or Capella? Uh, look. Look, if I'm using Danny Ferry, I can't say I don't want to use Myers Leonard. Um, so yeah, Myers Leonard in there. Just as a... As another bench shooter, so that I can still five out. So that, this means at all stages we can have, even if we do want to give a rest, we've got five. We got five shooters starting. We got five shooters off the bench. Everybody, I'm pretty sure Leonard is range, isn't he? Why did I think Leonard had range? Either way, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, because he can still hit wide open. Again, we got shooters. We can five out. He's gonna be standing corner. So yeah, this is this is probably it. For the 87 overall lineup, this is probably the best lineup that you can come up with. Yeah, you can use certain dark matters. You, there are certain dark matters you can use. But in this lineup here, you've got a point guard who can score and defend because he's got clamps. You have got the cheesiest player in the game. Doesn't matter what gen you're on with the burst. You've got the second cheesiest player in the game in Bowl Bowl. You've got a sniper in Steve Novak with Blinders Hall of Fame if you're on next gen and gold range if you're on current gen. Who's a sapphire? So you got two sapphires here with goal range that can actually and can hold defense a little bit. Then you got Danny Ferry, base 98. God, you can replace Danny Ferry with anyone. Like Danny Ferry is going to be my tertiary ball handler. Like my primary ball handler is going to be one of the balls. If I didn't have one of the balls, if I wanted to run Simmons at the three, and honestly, if I had Richard Van Aardel, I'd probably run him because he would be equally as cheesy to run this lineup. But yeah, I think this is the best lineup on either on either gen. This lineup works. This lineup beats the zone. This lineup has rim runners. This lineup has height. This lineup, outside of your point guard, your heights are 
seven seven six ten six ten seven two so like the outside of the point guard your team's an average height of over seven foot so with this overall lineup for me this is easily easily the best lineup that you can run to help you get the ring for the invincible moses malone card who is going to be incredible so yeah that is pretty much it lads that is the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe